program director. There is a gentleman, good morning. Uh, thank you, Interdicator, for the opportunity. Um, greetings to the family, colleagues, friends. Yeah, today is one of those days when you were actually supposed to say something, but it's a bit difficult. But let me start by saying that it's with heavy hearts that today we are gathered here this morning to bid farewell to one of our own, Mr. Otto Liebenberg. Immediately, I will just quote a scripture from the Bible in the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 1. And it says that the men are born by a woman is of a few days and full of troubles. Like a flower, they blossom for a moment, and then they quickly weather. Like a shadow of a passing cloud, they quickly disappear. Close quote. I started working with Mr. Levenberg in 2011, and after five years, I have nothing but respect for him. He was bestowed and he has bestowed loyalty to the department for more than 40 years, ladies and gentlemen, 40 years. So it has been to me an absolute pleasure to be working with him. He was advocating for the transfer of skills to other officials and he did his best for the development of Nalen and Sesotho Literary Museum. Mr. Limberg was always respectful and he was always humbled and in his did his job exceptionally well, beyond my expectation. He was fully effective. Let me then also quote another scripture from the Bible, from the book of Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. The Bible says, many are called, but few are chosen. Close quote, and I assure you, Otto Liebenberg was one of the chosen few. Mr. Liebenberg was someone you can depend on. He had integrity. Indeed, he was a true professional. He was dedicated, like the director said, he was committed, honest. He was loyal and he was trustworthy all the time. Therefore, throughout our professional relationship, I trusted his opinion and I valued his inputs. Given the professional level at which he operated and the complexity of the work he did over the years, the subdirectorate felt that it was necessary to retain his services. However, God had other plans for him. He has been very instrumental in the marketing and transformation of Nalen through the development of a general strategy for both Nalen and Sesotho Literary Museum. Mr. Liebenberg was a pioneer in doing research which has led to the establishment of Sesotho Literary Museum in 2006. In the process, he earned himself accolades from both international and national researchers and in the African community, Africans community at large for his meticulous work which he did with tight deadlines. I was under, it was under Mr. Liebenberg's supervision when Nalen was nominated as an institution of the year in 2014. Today, Museum Services is saddened by his passing. We lost one of our pillars as a heritage guru, a friend to most of us. A Minier. Minier was loved by everybody because of his character and work ethics. And yes, without a doubt, Otto Liebenberg had a good heart. He will forever be cherished and will continue to, cher to cherish, his, cherish his memory and will keep his legacy alive forever in our hearts. Let me quickly talk to the family and relatives. I know that you loved Otto with all your hearts. And without a doubt, I know that he also loved you because he often spoke very highly of you. Please accept our deepest condolences. We are very sorry for your loss. In the book of Psalm 23, verse 4, David says, 
Even if I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil because I know that God is with me. I would like to say to you, have no fear. The Lord God who knew Otto even before he was born, the one who made a plan for his life and determined it. When will he be born? When will he get married? When will he have children? And when will he leave this world? The very same God will carry you free of difficult time. Trust in God and he will strengthen you. He will comfort you and he will never leave you or not forsake you. Just be still and know that he is God. To colleagues and friends, let me conclude by saying that Mr. Liebenberg was one of our own and he has set a good example for all of us. Walk in his footsteps and continue to be the best you could be. It is difficult, in this difficult time, let us trust God and thank him for giving us an opportunity to walk and to know an extraordinary person like Mr. Otto Liebenberg. Let us celebrate his life and continue to work hard in honor of his memory. Rabalaka Khoto, rest in peace, rest in freedom in here. I thank you.